This is an overview of the system. The EUI program runs on the PC and the Turbine UI program runs on the microcontroller and they talk to each other via an Ethernet cable. The heart of the system is the microcontroller. It communicates with all of the turbines and collects all of the data. The EUI program is just a display. It does nothing more than take the data from the microcontroller and display it on the PC. The network IP address of the microcontroller is defined in the preferences and should not be changed. The PC's network address must be set up like this. This is a DIY anemometer. The body is 70mm plastic drainage pipe and the cups and top are from a plumbing ball cock chopped in half so it can be made very cheaply. The structure slides into the pipe for a snug fit at the top with some box tube. The white plastic stuff is from an acrylic chopping board. The shaft is a 10mm steel rod with two free moving bearings each attached to the plastic with some nuts and washers. The three structural pillars are M6 threaded rod. The shaft is held in place at the top with a plumbing olive, the brass thing you can see there, and that rests on the top bearing. It's slightly off at the moment. There are two small neo magnets glued to the shaft, which you can see going round, and the small black plastic thing in the background is a hall switch. Each time a magnet passes the hall switch, it'll generate a pulse which is sent to the microcontroller in order to calculate the RPM. In an attempt to show the speed responsiveness, we'll do a couple of tests. In this first one, I'm spinning the anemometer as fast as I can with my finger and then stopping it abruptly and repeating the exercise a few times you'll see that there is a difference between the min and max speeds and this is what you would expect for accelerations and deaccelerations. The next test is noisy. The fan is turned on and off at various intervals. This test compares the output with multimeter volts and is a fast hand spin on the main turbine under no load. Let's look at the user configuration for the anemometer. You can see that the speed and use flag is set as we'd expect and the power in use flag isn't set because we're not taking a voltage and current from the anemometer. 
the speed port ID is the digital port pin connected to the Hall sensor. As we've seen, the number of small magnets on the anemometer shaft is two and is defined here. The main turbine configuration uses both a speed port and a power port, so both flags are in use. A power port uses two of the ADCs of the microcontroller, one for the voltage measurement and one for the current measurement. The analog to digital converter of the microcontroller only accepts voltages in the range 0 to 3 volts. So the user must scale the voltage for both the voltage measurement and the current measurement and they use the scale factor in here. There's also a zero offset allowance for both the voltage and current measurements which will filter out any low level noise. Errors and information messages are displayed in the error view. If everything is OK, you won't see any errors here. After changing the user configuration, the new data must be sent to the microcontroller. This is done by reinitializing by pressing the control. Any errors in the new configuration will be in the error view. This time it was OK. The microcontroller used is a Luminary Micro LM3S6965 Ethernet Evaluation Kit. The micro SD card is a SanDisk 2GB. In order to use the default configuration described here, you will need to solder 6 pins. The ground and 5 volts two speed pins and two ADCs. It's important to have a clean ground to earth for the system. This is an example circuit using a hall switch. There can be up to three speed ports. A power port consists of both a voltage sense circuit and a current sense circuit each going into one of the ADCs of the microcontroller. There can be up to two power ports defined. This is an example of a voltage sense circuit and is just a simple voltage divider. And an example of a scale factor calculation. A simple current sense circuit will use a current sense resistor designed for the purpose and measure the voltage across it. An example of this would be to use a 4080 IC which does all the work for you. How long does it take to double the resolution of the anemometer? and hence improve the accuracy. In my first build I only had one magnet on the shaft and at low revs there weren't sufficient data points to get good outputs. So I glued another magnet to the shaft that took two minutes. I changed the user config for the number of shaft magnets from one to two and that took 10 seconds and it took one hour for the glue to set. I'm just kidding, I didn't wait for the glue to set. So if you give it a go, post your videos and let's have a look at your turbine's performance.